Okay, tubers, I'm back just for a real cor short video. Um, the follow up on the goblet I made. Uh, I had a question asked on what kind of um, glue I use to glue the uh, vase together with the, or the stem with the uh, glass top. And I use this uh, stick fast epoxy. It's, it's five minute, yeah. Five minute epoxy, five minute work time, stick fast. Um, as you can see, these are some older bottles, um, but that's what I use to epoxy it together. Um, I found that it works really well to epoxy it. The other question I had was, um, could I show how I separated the stem from the actual glass itself? Um, so underneath me here, I have some wood shavings, a pile of wood shavings for the stem to fall into so that I don't break it, so that I can use it for another project. Um, as I kind of explained at the end of the last video, I, I score all the way around the stem. Oops, get that up on the screen there. I score all the way around the stem with just a regular Dremel. Well, this happens to be a Craftsman one, but I score around it with a, just a regular cutting bit. Um, that's mm, this one says for metal, but. Uh, Basically, I score around it, get a good score around it, and then I heat it up with the bit, just keeping it in one spot, like I'm going to cut through it. And as soon as that gets warm, the scored spot where I score it pops off. So I'll show you the how I do that real quick, like. So um, I need some eye protection before I turn that on. All right. Face shield handy, we'll use my face shield. And the glue I used and how I cut the stems off. So here's just a real quick, show you how I do it. I don't have full use of my right arm again, so I stick my hand inside the glass to kind of hold it. That's it. I didn't even have to score all the way around. Um, scored partially around it. And, uh, well, I put one score mark and I realized, oh, I was going to make a follow-up video. So there you go. Put the one score mark in there. And voila, it's now off. And then I, I cup out the end of the, the um, stem. I cup it out so that this will fit down in there smoothly. And then I put the epoxy in there, set the glass on top, and it's finished. So I do put finish on the stem, get the stem completely finished before I do that, and making sure that I don't get any finish down inside the uh, uh, hole that this itty bitty little piece of stem will fit in. So there you go. Real short five minute video, maybe. If it's even that, I don't know how long this video is, but I'll just post it. I'm not going to do any fancy changes into anything. I'm just going to. Upload it to YouTube and post it as it is as a follow-up video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.